what's up guys welcome back hopefully you guys had an awesome weekend my weekend was actually pretty decent as far as selling goes so without further ado let's just jump into it see what we got so we sold this weekend all right so the first one up is actually two it's actually uh two eyeglasses in, in the uh for the sake of transparency these are both my mother's glasses she has uh really bad vision and so really thick lenses i don't know if that's important but i put them up and they sold almost within like i don't know 10 hours maybe i think give or take uh the first one is a pair of ray-ban eyeglasses uh and the other one was a pair of ralph lauren eyeglasses both of them sold for 22 dollars a piece they're going up to canada uh i'm not sure hopefully it, it, for some reason i just get like a weird funny feeling i'll keep you updated but uh i got a weird funny feeling because they sold so quickly and I don't know why. I don't know why, but you know, who knows. Next up, we have a, this is actually a cool one. Uh, it is a Pandora necklace clasp. It's not the necklace, it's just a little clasp piece that goes over the leather uh, necklaces or bracelets. And it sold for nine bucks. So that's pretty good because I bought it for scrap and turning a few cents into nine bucks is always awesome. Next up is a vintage sterling silver peace sign necklace pendant, and that sold for $10. It's got like these little blue stones in there. Pretty cool. Again, probably bought it for scrap. I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on that kind of thing, but it eventually sold. I think I bought that back in like 2016, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, next up is a pair of sterling silver garnet dangle earrings. I just bought these. I just listed them, I think it was on the 20, second I listed them maybe maybe the 14th I'm not sure relatively recently just just got them uh, I sold them for 10 bucks uh, probably could have got more but you know again there are so many of these things so anything above scrap is a good deal next up is another pair of vintage sterling silver earrings these are like little uh, onyx pieces shoved in there and they sold for 10 bucks as well Next up is amber. I love amber necklaces. They don't sell very well unless they're the monstrous ones, and in that case, you can sell them for a few grand. I've had quite a few of those over the years. But uh, this one uh, is just like raw amber on a little string, a little steel string with sterling silver clasps, and it sold for eight bucks. Oh, this next one was an awesome sale. So I've actually been sitting on these, and I mean sitting on them, for years. I bought them probably six seven years ago and i i remember what i've got them and i was like oh these look awesome and i i must have like taken pictures of them and then went to go look them up and i couldn't figure out what it was so i just like didn't do anything i don't know but recently i just went back in fe uh, february i went back through all my glasses well a lot of them this one main bin that i have and took all the pictures again and i took these pictures and noticed that they weren't up and i lit and i saw how much they were for and so I listed them and they sold and it's been, I think it's been four or five months now and they sold for $140. So you never know what you're sitting on guys. Make sure you're looking that stuff up. Uh, next up is a Tiffany and Company, Tiffany and Co. Elsa. Oh, I even spelled this wrong. Perver per <laughs> I wrote perverting. <laughs> that is, yeah, that's something else. Um, Elsa Peretti Sterling Silver Heart Pendant. And this sold for 40 bucks. I can't believe I spelled that perverting. Oh man, that's too much. That's uh, I think that's one of those little fat finger slippings and then like it auto corrects to something odd. That's too weird. Um, next up is a pair of sterling silver dangle dream catcher earrings and they sold for 10 bucks. Next is a vintage gold filled cross pen and it sold for $18. And then the next few of these, oh actually I'm gonna skip around, but this one, Next few, I'll just do it like this. Next few sold the same guy. So this is a Sterling Silver Figaro necklace, sold for 32. Then he also bought a, oh my God, I said this is a necklace, it's not, it's a bracelet. Unreal, I'm probably gonna hear about that one. Um, it's a leather bracelet going to the same guy. And then he also got the matching Figaro bracelet. And then he got a uh, Sterling Silver bead bracelet as well, cancer thing on there. Um, next up, we had another good sale. This was a Weiss brooch. Weiss brooches are always awesome. This one was really colorful. I think it might have been missing one stone. I'm not sure. But this one sold for $85. Next up, we had a uh, 
I do not even I, I, I don't even want to try to pronounce this but it's a teacup and it sold for 20 bucks it's actually like a mini teacup it's almost like a little espresso cup uh, then we had a gold filled nugget pendant and that sold for 38 then we had a oh my goodness hopefully this is let me turn this air down hopefully that's not being caught the whole time um da -da 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 -da. Let's see oh then we had a Leah Sophia cocktail ring that sold for 24 bucks then we had a jade flute and that sold for $85 uh let's see a uh, gold over stone silver pearl ring sold for 15 bucks and last but not least John Vervatos eyeglasses and they sold for $18 so you can see the bulk of my stuff is jewelry or eyeglasses with a little bit of flavor mixed in there but again i'm not sure how much all that amounted to i'm sure it was a few hundred bucks but uh hopefully your guys this weekend picked up as well because it's been it's so slow lately um everything next to me i'm running really late it's 9 36 usually i'm out of here at 8 30 and uh <clears throat> and we get the day started hopefully we go and find some stuff and if I find anything, I don't know if I'll make another video or that'll be that. Just kind of trying to keep these as short as possible. Keep you guys in attention spans. I don't want to just like try to hog your whole day. Uh, in any event, I'll talk to you guys later. See you in the next one.